Hey, what's up? Welcome to the No Tracers podcast. This show is all about urban exploring, and this week we're talking about upcoming road trips. Let's get into it. If you've been wondering what goes on behind the closed doors of abandoned places, if you want to know the stories of the people who explore the rot and decay, well, this is the podcast you've been looking for. I'd like to welcome you to No Tracers. Oh, what's up, guys? I am so excited to be back with you. Um, first of all, if you are into spooky music, I am dropping a spooky album. It's a hip hop record under the name I Am Chaos. Chaos with a K, obviously, because that's my name, K. And yeah. If you guys are interested in checking it out, the first single, Whisper, just dropped, and the music video dropped as well. I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, The album, A Haunting in the South, comes out on Halloween. Super excited for that. But yeah, go check that out. I think it's time to get it started. I have raised up an army in the black and debate. Where the demons dance and sway From the depths I shall emerge From the shadows where I play This is not a nightmare You are living in my dream So please don't hold it back Because I love to hear you scream Video episode this week If you are listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts There is a video that is corresponding with this episode On the No Tracers Urbex YouTube channel If you want to check it out For everybody that is on the YouTube channel, what's up? Hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you are watching, you will notice I'm wearing my I Heart Decay beanie. It's an abandoned house for the actual heart. So yeah, if you want to get one of these, uh, notracers.com slash shop. I got cool stuff. I got photo books. I got duffel bags. We got all kinds of cool shit up there. T-shirts, hoodies, windbreakers, all kinds of stuff. Go check it out. Um, But... I told you guys in the last episode that I really wanted to do like a meetup again. I wanted to like catch up with the Urbex community, with the homies, and it looks like it's motherfucking happening. Let's go. I'm so excited. Uh, Got a couple trips planned coming up. Uh, One of them is going to be in November. Um, Very excited. We're going to be, we've got like a group chat going. We're going to basically start in Nashville and go wherever we feel like basically so a little road trip guy with uh some homies and then we're gonna meet some other people along the way so very excited about that very inspired by what exploring with josh is doing right now with his like spooky road trip thing in his camper van very cool we'll just be taking my toyota rav4 but (laughs) still cool still exciting um not as much room we have to get hotels and airbnbs and whatever along the way but super excited for that um might be making a trip in like three weeks as well. So the beginning of October or mid, mid October, trying to figure out the details on that one. Um, not really going to say like where we're headed on these trips just because like motherfuckers will show up, which is awesome. But like in a bad way, people will, people will show up in a bad way or call the cops or whatever. And just, we don't want that, but very, very excited to be, uh, doing some urban exploring this fall slash winter, and uh, the group chat's actually going off right now. Um, but super fucking stoked to be doing that. And uh, I can't wait to share everything with with you guys eventually. Uh, I am actually going to be taking a film camera with me, which I'm stoked about. I've wanted to start shooting on film. And I have picked up a Kiev 4A camera. Uh, one second, I'm going to grab it. Yeah, so this is the Kiev camera this was made in uh during the cold war era actually um by the soviets they basically the story behind this camera is actually insane they essentially moved their operations to kiev and made this line of cameras uh this one is from 1971 you can tell by the first two numbers on that serial code on the top right over here says 71 that is the year that this was manufactured so pretty interesting um i'm learning how to operate this film camera i've got a bunch of film in my refrigerator right now i hear that's where you're supposed to keep film and uh yeah i'm super excited to uh use this thing and see what i can make with a film camera i've never used film before but i am very very excited to 
give it a go and see if we get anything cool that is print worthy. If it is, it'll go up on the blog. It'll go up on the website and on the store. So if you guys are interested in any of my prints, um, I do sell prints. I, I think I still have a dark room website. If you want to get a print off of my dark room website. Um, if, if not, I'll have to update that before this comes out, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, also one other thing I wanted to touch on, which I think I've talked about in like a video before, but if you are watching, you will see that I'm wearing an Ashmore Estates hoodie right now. Ashmore Estates was an asylum that was around back in the day and it got shut down. It's abandoned, but all the like ghost hunting groups go explore it and hunt ghosts there. I got hired to go out and film a guy ghost hunt at Ashmore and uh, we walked in. There's a caretaker so you can like rent it out for the night. So it's not really abandoned. It's just like kind of abandoned. Anyway, I saw that they had like merchandise and I was like, damn, I wish every abandoned place had merchandise because that's fucking cool. I would just collect shirts from abandoned places, which got me thinking, would you guys be interested in like one of one or one of three handmade shirts and bandos? Like if I just bring a bunch of shirts with me and like, I don't know, fuck them up in like abandoned buildings, like spray paint them or do something cool in, in that abandoned building. Would you guys be interested in something like that? I thought it might be kind of fun to like make some like custom stuff like that. I don't really know what I would do or how I would do it. Uh, so I got to like kind of think a little bit more on that, but I think it'd be kind of cool to have like custom, like one of one or one of three, um, merch items from abandoned places. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think of like some creative things to do for 2025. I've done two photography books. Uh, I've done merchandise, but I want to do something more unique than that. Like, I, I don't really know what it is that it would be. I know Josh did trading cards, which are, I think is a really cool idea. I would love to do some trading card type stuff. There's something else I'm working on that I'm not going to talk about because I, I think it is going to happen. It's just a matter of like making it happen. Uh, so stay tuned on the No Tracer social media accounts for more information about what I'm kind of working on uh, over the next year. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of pop in and say what's up. Hope you guys had a lovely week. I hope you guys are gearing up to do some exploring this weekend. I know there's like a heat wave going on right now, uh, but hopefully it cools off soon and we can get out there and get some exploring in. Uh, I'm stoked to meet up with friends and explore with them and do some crazy shit. But yeah, I'm working on getting some guests on for the winter. If you're interested, hit me up on Instagram, no.tracers, or you can hit me on the email contact at no Yeah, that's, uh, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Go check out chaos my music project it's like a dark spooky hip-hop project if you're interested in that the first single whisper is out now on all streaming platforms and the music video is on my other youtube channel i'll link it down in the description all right guys that's uh that's it that's all i got for you today stay strong keep enduring go out go explore something and remember leave no trace